Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired right now. Seriously, after I got home from ESL, I almost passed out on the couch after feeding my cats. Like, I laid down on the couch and I was like, I'm so gonna pass out. Oh, Ex Machina mm -hmm. says, I just realized Knuckle Dew will design a new Armika costume. Oh, that's probably what. Well, that or Guile. Or anything, I think. Cause yeah, he can choose any character, any character he wants. Yeah. Probably one of those two, I guess. Dude, he should make a Guile with the shades. So that he can, like, put the shades on. That him. would be so smart. Right, so that he can do the shade. Oh, I gotta get on the horn to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, Knuckle Dew. I have. I know. I, I understand. Mean, it's eleven forty-seven p.m. There, but I mean, Knuckle Dew <laughs> has. I mean, the Guile has shades already in one of them. But like, if you design the costume specifically so he can take it on and off, genius. I think that would be sick. Genius. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Guile with lots of tea bags on his suit. It's hilarious. Uh, I love the tweet from somebody that it was like, we, we got teabagging on ESPN too. Yeah, that was great. Here's the funny thing about people making fun of Hollywood as being like the ritzy place. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Ultra David, ooh. Uh, you and I just went to, Oops, sorry. we just went to the internet over there, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many bums did you see? There were so many bums. A dude. bunch of bums. Hollywood is so good. Hollywood ghetto. is not ritzy, okay? I've seen so many tourists go to Hollywood and they leave because it's like, wow, this isn't what I expected at all. <laughs> Dude, we had a friend come over here and he was like, I'm going to go check out Hollywood. And my response to him was, why? <laughs> like, nobody, nobody rich or fancy even hangs out there. They go to, like, the other parts, you know, Beverly Hills, Bel Air... Hancock Park, <laughs> whatever. There's so many other places downtown nowadays. And nothing is even filmed in Hollywood. Like, and not, mm -hmm. not recently. Like, in the 30s, they were already out of there. 1930s, like 80 years ago, they were not in Hollywood anymore. So I don't really know how it's managed to maintain, you know, the... It's just the, the sign and the song. But like, I think that's all it is, right? Like, they must just have excellent marketing or mm -hmm. have had it, like, long enough. That it's like now self perpetuating, but I'm telling you guys, like it is, it's nice. I like it. I have a nice place, I think. <laughs> but uh, in order to go to the store, I have to walk by like just a parade of bums. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like it's almost like Berkeley area. I mean, it geez. is kind of like Berkeley. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, Especially, dude, if you go if you go to where uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame is and. You see the saddest, grossest cosplayers ever. Like the, <laughs> the gross. You, you know who I saw? Actually, I saw a Pikachu walking down near where I live, like walking away from there. Uh -huh. he, I don't know why he walked that far, but uh, this guy in this Pikachu mask, he was maybe like early 20s, really long, unkempt hair, super long, weird looking beard, but he was just like carrying this dirty Pikachu costume in his, in his side. And he had these yellow boots on that, like, vaguely looked like they made it in Pikachu. Oh like, that guy was, you know, he was on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That was super weird. Dude, the, I mean, I think the only worst place I've seen is Vegas. Like, literally, we were walking through Vegas one time, and we saw a, a Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. And he looked so stoned. Like, as soon as I, I said that, like, the group that I was with, like, all of us could not stop laughing. I'm so sad. I did not get a picture of stoned Buzz Lightyear or Buzzed Lightyear. Buzzed Lightyear. Yeah, All right, you want to get back in on this thing? Sure. And no, I'm not playing FF15 yet, although I'm being told that I should. So I may stream myself playing it, but I have to buy the game first. I was kind of hoping to wait until it went on sale, although I did order Last Guardian. So I'm going to play that no matter what kind of reviews it gets because... Ico was fantastic, and Shadow of the Colossus is still one of my favorite games of all time. So. That's one of those games on my classics list that I have to get to. I haven't done it yet. Shadow of Colossus? Yeah, oh, man. I haven't done it yet. Well, they have the HD remaster. I have it, yeah. I think, for the PS3 or something like that. Oh, I so. already sold my PS3. Oh, okay, so. okay. But, yeah, Shadow of Colossus is... I mean, it's like, yeah, sometimes the camera's bad. Yeah, sometimes the controls get weird. But that game, when you play it, oh, like... The emotion that that game evokes is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, it looks, looks gorgeous. It's all right, all right, here we go. Okay, uh, before we head back, really quick, just want to say shout-outs once again to uh, Peter016. He has resubscribed for seven months. He said he loved MOV's comment about Do being such a balanced player, both in the characters he uses and his play style. Uh, Formerly Unknown has also resubscribed for four months. 
uh, Fleet of Foot has resubscribed as well. And again, if you guys want to subscribe, don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your account and uh, subscribe to one free channel. So that would be super cool. Beats by Noel Brown has subscribed. I don't have to tell him to die in a fire anymore. I can, I can actually just, <laughs> I can be, th I can say thank you to him now. So, uh, Firestorm one zero three four has subscribed. Hi hi. I want to know what the one zero three four stands for. Uh, <laughs> Paratestes, genius has subscribed. Uh, Arik four five one has subscribed. What's up? Third strike for life. And, uh, yeah, that's what we got. Three hours ago, Aura Song, uh, Osiris Song subscribed. So, Sweet. shout outs to him. Thank you. All and, right. Uh, five hours ago, Will Wave 0057 subscribed. Okay. So shout outs to you guys. Thank you very much. Let's roll. All right, let's do this. And an average JoJo. So wait, I thought Street Fighter 2010 was actually Ken Masters. I'm looking it up right now, because I thought it was too. Yeah, that's what it said on the back of the box. Let's see what we got here. The English localization changed the name and backstory of the main character to imply that he was Ken from the original Street Fighter. Mm. Whereas the protagonist in the Japanese version is a completely unrelated character named Kevin. Ah, I didn't know that. Shout out to Fooding Kazan. There you go. How about that? The player takes control of Ken, a cyborg cop. The objective of each stage is to destroy the designated enemy target shown before the stage begins and obtain the energy required to open a trans-dimensional portal to the next stage. <laughs> Dude, I saw Genius. I saw a tool assisted speedrun of this game and it just looked like the worst video game ever. It I've never played so, it, but it does look bad. So back in the old days, they had those little Nintendo centers in the malls that you could test out all the different games, right? Did you ever see those? Like, that's how I actually sure. found out, like, Mega Man was super awesome and stuff like that. It was because I tried it at that thing. Uh -huh. And I tried Street Fighter 2010, and I was just like, this is the worst game ever. And that's the extent that I've ever played of that game. Oh, man, that game is so bad. What do you think about a Street Fighter 2010 Ken skin? It would be way better than whatever it is that they're choosing now because those Christmas costumes are terrible. Yeah, those are gross. Oh my god. Gross. I think I actually made Nidel angry because the first, first thing I said to him when I saw him on Friday is, what the hell is up with those Christmas costumes? Yeah, he didn't <laughs> seem like he enjoyed that. Because <laughs> those costumes are so bad. Like, honestly, I mean, someone said that during one of their uh, panels, like at Evo, they said, like, the Chun-Li sold super well and Hot Ryu didn't sell at all and stuff like that. So maybe those sexy costumes do sell the best, but... Uh, maybe, but, like, what if you had other cool costumes? That, I know, like, right? Like... Piles of poop. I just, like, if you made a really sick costume, I'm sure they would sell well. You know, they made that Ken Cowboy costume, and it's, like... Santa Cowboy, maybe? Yeah, yeah. uh-huh. Nobody, that doesn't make sense to anybody. Dude, uh, so, I, 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 we talked about this a little earlier. I actually postulated, dude, does Japan just think, like, Americans are a bunch of weirdos? Because, like, every costume from <laughs> Canada has just been god-awful. Like, do they think this is how Americans dress? Yeah, like, this, do they just think Americans are just, like, crazy people? Like, wear this weird Santa costumes. Like, next one's going to have, like, the beer can hat on his head, you know? James, that would be the greatest costume. <laughs> <laughs> At least there would be something funny in there. At least it'd be a joke. At least we would know, oh, either they, wow, they think they're, we're, we're idiots, or they're making a joke, rather than what they got going on now, which is just, come on. <laughs> they gave Zangief, yeah. like, the bear costume again. He already had that. Why did he need that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Uh, uh. Yeah, all the fat characters have always been Americans, too, like Bob and... and oh, Chris, yeah, right? of course. Of course. Yeah. And you got the weeb character with Sodom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are not kind. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, all Americans dress in cowboy Santa outfits. 
and all and every, all the girls in Christmas time are wearing bikinis. Mm-hmm. 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 Like that would make sense if they were all Australian. <laughs> I guess it would. Actually, yeah. Right. <laughs> I guess it would. <laughs> but you know. Not everybody's in Tierra del Fuego that time of year. Yeah, exactly. Like, seriously, birdie? No Santa birdie outfit? Yeah, how is there not a birdie Santa? And your idea of Zangief dreidel spinning as a lariat? I'd love to take advantage. Uh, uh, that wasn't me. That, oh, was, that okay. was actually... Uh, oh, man, who was it now? It was Daniel. It was Jameson Trumpet. Oh, okay, okay. Genius. Genius. That would have been so awesome. Yeah, see, Laura, okay, maybe her Santa Christmas suit works. Yeah, okay. like, that's fine. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that's mm-hmm, fine. Mm-hmm. Japan doesn't know that. People who are making this game, they're not thinking about... <laughs> they're not thinking about world hey, geography. Hey, guys! Hey, guys! Wait yeah. up for me! Oh, my gosh! Hey, what's going on around here? Yeah, yeah, Seriously. Oh, yeah, I was just watching that story mode. I was like, all right, let's see if they can redeem Laura in yeah, any way. Yeah. And then that happened, and I was oh, like... Man. Oh I my tell God, you, man, like watching me. Overwatch come out at the same time, it's just, <laughs> it's depressing how, yeah. how much better they are. Dude, in one line for Sombra going, boop, like she yeah. gained way more personality than Laura has ever gotten. Yeah. Boom. Boom. All right, you want to do this one? Dang. <laughs> Dang. I'll show you, what was it, like I'll start the I'll show you how to start a fight and finish, finish it quickly. quickly. Thanks. You could, anybody could have said that. Rashid could have came in and went, I'll show you how to start a fight and finish it quickly. Yeah. You could have Zangief come and go, I start, I show you how to start a fight and finish quickly. Like, it's the most generic line, yeah. right? Like, awful. anybody could have said it. So. It's awful. It's awful. Oh, man. It's awful. It's all awful. Right, all right, all right, it's all right, all right. It's awful. Before we come back, really, before we come back, really quick, Classy Stranger, thank you for your subscribe. And uh, Average Jojo, who subscribed at the end of the last break. So, thank you very much. Hey. Yo, I would love to do a Lupe James Chen collab. That would be so sick. Lupe Cross Chen. Oh, dude. Lupe Cross J Chenzor. DJ Chenzor. DJ Chenzor. That's what I gave my name as uh, when I did all the remixes for the two-hit combo video. Oh, okay. Because I actually had to edit some of the songs and like take out the singing and stuff like that. And so all my remixes I called the DJ Chenzor remix. Back in the day when I was still figuring out what my gamer tag should be, uh-huh. one of the ones that I went with pretty frequently was DJ Funky B. And now I'm not proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy that's not what the old roulette wheel ended up on. Well, that. too late now. You're DJ Funky D from now on, dude. So there you go. No, I was only 10 years old, James. 